In this video, we'll analyze and prepare the data that we'll be using to build a logistic regression model. Open the ML for Beginners GitHub project we've been following, then the regression folder, and then the logistic folder. You can add the code we'll be showing in the video to the notebook in that section. We'll be using the pumpkin data set that we use in our linear regression videos, so I may already be familiar with it. Our eventual goal is to predict if a pumpkin is orange or white based on other features in the data set. Since our prediction is a class, orange or white, and not a number, then logistic regression is a good method to use. But before we build our model, we need to analyze our data and see if it needs any cleanup or transformations that will make our job easier. Let's get a feel for what this data set looks like by printing a few rows. There's a lot of features in this data set. We're going to be working with just a few of those, so let's drop all the features we don't need. We'll keep city name, package, variety, origin, item size, and color. We'll also drop any rows that contain missing values. Our data is looking pretty good. Let's get a better feel for it by plotting the number of orange and white pumpkins for each of the varieties in our data. We'll be using Seaborn for this visualization. You've already seen to, how to make plots using matplotlib. Seaborn is an alternative plotting framework, which is also very popular with data scientists. First, we need to pip install Seaborn. Then we can run the code. We'll create a cat plot where we add the pumpkin variety to the y-axis, the number of pumpkins to the x-axis, and the color of the pumpkins will ref be reflected in the hue. This helps us understand the data a bit better. Many pumpkin varieties are orange, but miniature pumpkins can come in both colors, and Howden white type pumpkins are all white. It also helps us to see that most of the pumpkins in our data are orange, very few of them are white. Because the number of pumpkins in each of our prediction classes is unbalanced, we say that our data is skewed. We need to do some transformations in this data before we can use it to make predictions. A lot of our data is represented as strings, but the logistic regression algorithm requires numerical data. We talked about categorical features in a previous video. Watching that video will help you get a better understanding of the transformations we'll be doing. In that video, you'll learn how categorical features can be transformed into numerical values using one-hot vectors. One-hot vectors are great when the different categories in the feature don't have an implied order, but sometimes categories do have an implied order, and for those scenarios, we can simply replace the strings with increasing numbers. For example, the pumpkin's item size has an implied order. Let's look at all the pumpkin sizes in our data. Looking at these strings, we can easily define the order of these categories, and we can use an ordinal encoder to convert this feature into integers from 0 to 6. None of the other input features in our dataset has an implied order. Our other features are city name, package, variety, and origin, so we'll use a one-hot encoder for those. We can now add these encoders to a column transformer, and we can do the actual data transformation. We set the output to pandas, to ensure we get a pandas data frame back. If we look at our data now, we see that the item size column was replaced by numbers from 0 to 6. We also see that, for example, the city feature was split into several one-hot vector columns, one for each city in the data. Next, we need to do a similar transformation for our label, the pumpkin color. The column contains the strings orange and white, and we want to replace them with the numbers 0 and 1. We can use the label encoder class for that. Let's make sure that we got our transformation right. Great. Let's use Seaborn one more time to visualize the size of the orange and white pumpkins for each pumpkin type using a cat plot. We can also use a swarm plot to understand the relationship between item size and color. I think our data is in pretty good shape now, and we're ready to build a logistic regression model that predicts pumpkin color based on other features. Watch our next video to find out how.